Hello everyone and welcome to Japanesey Does It on Food Review UK. This is where we grab some Japanese food products, stuff, things, and review them. Today I've got another four exciting products. Um, I'm going to go in an order to which I see interesting. And I'm actually going to start with the drink first this time. Now this is the drink that I've got. It is a Ramoon Soda. Now this is Ramoon Soda... I'm not sure if it kind of is a brand name or if it refers to the cap that it is, but you might recall that last time I struggled opening one of these, so I now know roughly what I'm doing. Um, there's basically a ball there, like a ball bearing type thing, and you need to first of all clip this out. Ow, painful. Um, so yeah, you've got that like that, and then uh, all the things happen like that falling down uh, now you push that on there and then you get the palm of your hand and it shouldn't hurt famous last words slices his hand open um, right here we go so this should just push the ball bearing in all the pressure all the pressure oh god so much pressure that's actually stuck on my hand like a lot oh god so much pressures all the pressures I'm going to use a different hand, i.e. the other hand that I own, that belongs to me. Yep, so, there we go, we're in. Oof. It's terrifying, isn't it? Look at that. The ball just floats, and my head and my mouth is visible through this water. Anyway, oh, this smells, this smells really interesting. I'm actually not sure what flavour it is. This is like a normal sweet soda flavour. It's, yeah, it's literally called original flavour there. And, um, yeah, it smells, it smells a bit plain, but there is actually some flavour there. It smells like fizzers. It smells like Swizzles Matlow fizzers combined with, like, soda water. Here we go, guys. Let's just, let's just check it out and try it. It's an odd, odd drinking experience as well, because that's what you've got to put in your mouth. It's almost like a spherical, almost bell-shaped uh, top with a, with a hole in, and then liquid comes out. Put that down me because I'm an idiot. That is frothing up something chronic. It's quite good actually. Um, it's it's a really interesting mix of flavours. So okay, first of all you got soda water, like normal soda water. Then you have the faintest hint of like a citrus flavour, like a lemonade, like like five to ten percent lemonade, and then probably around thirty to forty percent um, fizzer. Yeah, like sherbetty, kind of pastel sweetie. Um, flavour. And when I say pastel, I don't mean pastel as in like a fruit pastel, I mean pastel as in like a chalky, you know, the kind of quite muted, sherbetty, sweet, uh, like compacted, dusk, dusty disc candy, which I'm just saying absolutely weird things, um, but you know exactly what I mean, things like fizzers. That's uh, perfectly edible, perfectly enjoyable, I'll give it three stars. Nothing to write home about. This next one is super crazy. This is really odd. This is a uh, soda candy, soda flavour candy floss gum. Uh, the packaging is amazing. Like, the packaging is six stars. That is so cute and so amazing that I, 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 I love that. I love that. Don't quite know what to expect with this one, honestly. <sighs> Smells kind of incredible, honestly. Wow, it looks weird. We've got we've got a, a a sheet of of something here. We've got some kind of lubricated paper sheet. Oh man, what does that remind me of? Okay, so there there is a an actual bubble gum smell there, and I've just realised what the other smell is. It's uh, juicy fruit, Wrigley's juicy fruit. So it smells like a mixture between that and um, and bubble gum. And honestly, the 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 uh, de -de 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 uh, the text is hilarious. It's like a little moustache. It's like tickling my nose. <laughs> weird. Already weird. Got little pockets of uh, sourness. That is absolutely mental. Yeah, if that is actually changing into gum, that is literally mental. It is. Yeah. Um, that is completely bizarre. Don't get me wrong, it's actually good. I actually say it's a damn sight better than candy floss. Because, yeah, it's... Uh, Turning into gum. Quite sour as well. 
little pockets of almost lemony sour sourness. Um, that is actually excellent. Um, so you take candy floss. A lot of people enjoy the texture of candy floss. I fairly enjoy it at the start, but I hate how it compacts down into sugar and gets stuck in your teeth. Okay, you replace that compacting down, getting uh, turning into sugar and getting stuck into your teeth with transforming into gum. So you, you have a fairly good flavour. You add in a bit of sourness. You have the joy and the fun of candy floss texture, but then it compacts down into gum. So it's all these things in one. It's uh, really good. I really enjoy it. The flavour is fairly good, and the novelty of it is brilliant. I would, if that was in the UK, I think that is a, a, a viable snack, a very viable snack, and I would give that a four stars. That's very fun. Very fun indeed. That's what it looks like, by the way. Bit of blue. Next up, we've got Pucho. Pucho, by the way, I got all these from Tofu Cute. They are actually a bloody brilliant website. This is the second order I've placed with them. Their shipping, if, if you order under £20 worth of product, the shipping rate is very reasonable at around £2.50, which I think is extremely reasonable. Their products are very reasonably priced. These are around £2 a pack. This is a, an imported pack of sweets, guys. Um, and all of these things weren't very expensive. I think that candy floss gum was around £1.50. These are not expensive items at all. You would, you would expect to pay a lot more for imported products. Uh, so what is Pucho? It's like a yogurty, chewy uh, gum. Candy, actually. It's not an actual... Uh, chewing gum is a candy uh, and it has these little gummy bits in the middle so this is a cola flavour, let's go oh it's uh, immediately it's a lot firmer than the other puchos that I've had very much the um oh my god so sour so sour there's pockets of uh yeah sugar sour sugar in the middle um mm. so as I was going to say before I got surprised by the sourness um, correct. It's got um, that slightly up. <laughs> Just swallowed a bit of the gummy nearly. Um, what am I like? It's got kind of this uh, slightly lemony edge. Um, if you've had the lemon and cola flavour, Mao, um, similar kind of deal. Um, again, you've got to be careful with these gummy drops. No. And that's very much like a cola bottle in this vehicle. Bloody delicious. I do love cola flavour sweets that are like this chewy and whatnot with the sweet, almost muted, creamy yogurty edge. Very much like a, a, a Malwam cola. And then, I think that's extremely flavoursome. It's got a great combination of textures. I like the flavour a lot and um, it's got sourness to boot so I would give that a low four stars. Okay guys. Last up today is my pizza resistance. It's Hello Panda Matcha Green Tea Flavour. You may recall that I tried the green tea Pocky Sticks. I think it was in the last episode. Um, it's got a nice dark green packaging by the way. Um, and I actually love them. Now, that was matcha green tea and vanilla. Uh, I don't know quite how I'm going to cope with just matcha on its own. But um, I hope to like it. Ooh, smells a lot worse to be honest. Yeah, smells a lot more green tea than the vanilla matcha stuff that I tried. Uh, it's very, yeah, it's more herbal. Man, I was really spoiled by the Pocky Sticks. They were incredible because of the vanilla twist. These are definitely not as good. So that shows the, uh, that shows the cream in the middle there. You do get a little bit of earthiness from the actual biscuit itself, which plays against the uh, herbal flavors of the creamy filling. And it does have a really nice texture. For me, it could be slightly sweeter. And uh, the flavour is just a bit odd. It is very herbal. It is. It has herbal flavours and it has tea flavours. Not bad by any means. Uh, I give it a very, very, very high two stars. I could have gone with a low three, but it's just a bit too naggy for me. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Check out my comedy channel, Michael Jameson Comedy. I will leave you at the end of this episode with some clips from Michael Jameson Comedy. Please check them out. And if you enjoy them or find them funny, please subscribe because I put a lot of effort into that channel. And follow us on Food Review UK Twitter Sphere. And subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Keep it Japanesey, guys. Where's my Spider-Man? I want to fucking shag him. Fucking shag him. <laughs> 
Muslims. <laughs> I'm just saying the names of a variety. Buddhists. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I had to explain them all uh, in Davia and do our best to do that. So. Endavia. Fuck off. Endeavour. Fuck off.